Good morning, everyone. My name is Mary Therese C. Alcobra, second year student from Southwestern University, Tegma. And today, I will be performing the assessment of the thorax and lungs. So first, we want to identify the patient using two patient identifiers, which is their name and birthday. Good morning, sir. My name is Mary Therese C. Alcobra, and I'm going to be your nurse for today. Um, before anything else, may I ask for your name and for your birthday? Harold F. Roosevelt, January 6, 2004. We can also counter check if that is indeed a patient. Which I think mean, there is one. Can you check this one? Okay. Next is to explain the purpose of the respiratory system examination and answer any questions the patient may have. So, sir, today we will be assessing your thorax and lungs to check if you're breathing right or if there are any underlying health um, process, um, problems um, with your thorax and lungs. Should there be any questions, sir? Um, Feel free to ask them now. Any questions? Okay. Next is we need to perform hand hygiene. And then we're going to assist the patient to undress if needed and provide a patient gown. Assist the patient by sitting position and expose the posterior thorax. So as you can see, our patient is already in our patient's gown. And so we're going to be exposing the posterior thorax. First, we're going to inspect the posterior thorax, examining the skin, bones, and muscles of the spine, shoulder blades, and back, as well as the symmetry of expansion and accessory muscles used during respirations. So we want to assess for skin color changes, um, the muscles of the spine, the bones, and if our patient uses accessory muscles like the shoulders when they're breathing, and then we're going to assess the anterior, posterior, and lateral diameters of the thorax. So, sir, could you um, put your hands forward in this? Our patient has um, barrel chest or socket chest. all over over the spine and posterior thorax. Use the palmar surface of the hand to palpate for temperature, tenderness, and muscle development and masses. So palmar use the surf, palmar surface of the hand so and then we're going to instruct the patient to take a deep breath, assess for tactile fermitus by using the ball of the hands to palpate over the posterior thorax while the patient says 99. So, sir, can you say 99 every time we touch your back? 99, 99, 99, 99, 99. Okay, thank you. Next, we're going to assess the thoracic expansion by standing behind the patient, placing both thumbs on either side of the patient's spine at the level of E9 or T10 and ask the patient to take a deep breath and note the movement of the examiner's hands. Sir, could you take a deep breath for me, please? Thanks for that, thanks for that. Inhale. Thanks for Okay. Now we're going to percuss over the posterior and lateral lung field of four tone using a zigzag pattern starting over above the scapula to the basis of the lungs. Note intensity, pitch, duration, and quality of sound produced. So over the scapula. going to auscultate the lungs across and down the posterior thorax to the base of the lungs as the patient breathes slowly and deeply through the mouth. Cross and down the posterior thorax. So
also want to um, include the Next, we'll be assessing the anterior thorax and lungs. First, we want to examine the anterior thorax with the patient sitting. Rearrange the gums so the anterior chest is exposed and expect the skin, bones, and muscle as well as the symmetry of lung expansion and accessory muscles used. So, sir, can you sit up straight for me? through the anterior thorax as the patient breathes slowly and deeply through the mouth. Thank you. 